Amazing. Again, just showed you, we've got every type of precipitation falling that we can get out there. And there's a reason why. Why are we not just seeing snow like we have in the past? Why are we seeing all this? Meteorologist Jordan Daresworth is going to break down why we're seeing this across Central Texas. Go ahead, let them know, Jordan, what's happening in the air above. All us. right, I'm going to let them know right now that the temperature doesn't always decrease with height. Sometimes an inversion occurs where the temperature can increase at a certain height, and thus the different precipitation types will form. So let's go through those together. All right, and we are going to start this off with rain, and that is where that snow melts from that cloud layer and falls all the way to the ground without freezing at any point because it's too warm. Then you're going to have that freezing layer where you have that thin layer of cold air underneath that warm air because cold air is denser and that will cause that rain to freeze on contact, including those bridges, overpasses, as well as those trees and power lines. And then you have the sleet, which allows that water drop to, to freeze again before it hits the surface. It's going to hit off the surface like a little ping pong ball. But then you've got that snow where you've got that cold air less than 32 degrees and the snowflake does does not melt at any point before it reaches the ground. So yes, it's going to depend on the thickness of the cold air layer in relation to the warm air layer. Zach?